Hey everyone, James from Smoking Face Pelt Outdoors, uh, bringing you another video. Uh, this time, kind of going a different direction. You guys have uh, have watched my videos or checked out my blog page. Uh, I've talked a lot about titanium cookware and uh, eating utensils. And don't get me wrong, I love my titanium. It's still my go-to. But uh, I also use from time to time stainless steel and uh, I want to talk about a specific piece of stainless steel cookware uh, that I picked up recently. Um, one, I'm incredibly impressed by it, but a uh, big part of that is the price point on it. And um, you know, I, I realize not everybody can afford to, to go to titanium. Titanium is really quite expensive and uh, it takes a while to, to build a kit with titanium and then not everybody's even interested in titanium. In fact, there's a lot of people out there that still use aluminum and, and swear by it and, and that's fine. Uh, I'm not really an aluminum cook kit kind of guy. I don't care for aluminum. Uh, in fact, I only own one piece of aluminum cook kit and that is my Jetboil Flash. And I love my Jetboil Flash, but I do not actually cook in it. I use it specifically for boiling water because it has a very fast boil time, uh, right at two minutes, I believe, for two cups of water, a little over two cups of water. And so I use that system only to boil water uh, for making pack meals or rehydrating dehydrated food uh, or making coffee or hot cocoa or hot tea. But I do not cook anything in it and I do not even put coffee or tea or anything into the into the vessel for it uh, no stirring anything like that I boil water and then I dry it out as soon as it cools off and uh, and put it away I do not want anything to risk scratching the inside of that uh, my own personal thing you may not believe there's any issues with with cooking with aluminum and that's fine that's your choice to make and I'm not here to convince you otherwise but uh, that's the only aluminum cook kit that I own but I have today um, a very specific set of, of stainless steel that I want to share with you. And so I'm going to uh, ask you to stick around for the intro and then I'll be right back. So let's go ahead and jump into it. I want to talk about the stainless steel five-piece mess kit from Ozark Trail that I picked up at Walmart. And the most incredible part of this is the price point. Uh, this is absolutely a budget-friendly piece of kit. And I think it would be fantastic for somebody just getting started in camping, hiking, bushcraft, uh, any of that kind of stuff, woodcraft. Um, but also for a seasoned vet of those things who just wants a small uh, compact kit to be able to take into the woods or the mountains or, or wherever they go to uh, fishing or whatever to, to do uh, simple meals and uh, so let's go ahead and just get into this I want to talk about uh, the features and some really cool things uh, that I think you can add to this and still be incredibly budget friendly and make this absolutely fully functional. So let's go ahead and pop it open and get started. Very first per piece of kit that I want to talk about is my least favorite part of this and that is the little blue plastic cup that it comes with. I don't care for it. Uh, I don't think it's even a full cup in volume. Um, you know, maybe maybe three quarters of a cup or seven eighths, but I don't think it's even a full cup of, of measurement. And so for me, this is this is not a great part of the kit. So for, I just set it to the side. If you've got youngins, uh, kids, this might be sufficient for them. So you might want to hold on to it. I, it. Just for me, it isn't it isn't part of the kit that's worth it. So I just set it to the side. So the next piece on the kit is going to be the pot and this pot is really nice it's small and uh, I'll talk about some pros and cons of it here in a moment 
but one of the biggest pros for me is this bail handle. It has these little tabs that the, uh, that the bail handle slips up into and locks so that you can pour and it isn't falling all over the place. And you can also hang it over the open flame. Really nice little pot. And the bail handle is about half inch thick, so really stable. You can get a good hold on it, or you can, uh, even with like a leather glove or something, or you can wrap a, a towel around it. It's not this little teeny tiny wire handle. It's a nice handle. Um, and then it comes with this lid. And let's see if I can get it over here where you can see this little screw is a Phillips head screw, probably a number two Phillips head, uh, with a little black plastic uh, handle on it so that you can take the lid on and off without burning your fingers but really nice for helping you get the water to a boil faster by having the lid on it I am probably going to go and uh, use my drill and poke a hole or two maybe three on one edge of this and I can use it as a drain uh, you know so I can drain water out if I need to uh, and so it can vent as it boils so the steam can vent uh, and that way I don't lose a bunch of water by boiling it off. But it's a decent size. Uh, it's a decent little little lid and does its job well. Now, I said the pot is small. Now, here's the, here's the, the con, if you will. It's just shy of two cups of water in volume. And that's a, a deal, a big deal to some people because most... Uh, Backpacking meals, Mountain House, Augustine Farms, Alpine Air, Backpackers Pantry, most of those usually call for two cups of water, two cups of boiling water to add to the pack meal to rehydrate it and cook it. Um, you're not going to get two cups in here. Uh, the volume is just under two cups, like one and seven eighths. Now, it's not a big deal for me, and if you're like me, then it won't be a big deal for you and let me tell you why most pack meals when I actually put the amount of water that it calls for into them I find it to be watery and uh, and watered down I don't like it it's too runny um, even soups and stews I don't usually put the full volume of water that the pack meal calls for so this is more than sufficient usually for me if a, if a meal calls for two cups of water I'm going to start at probably a cup and a half, maybe a little over a cup and a half anyway. So this is more than sufficient for me to, to uh, rehydrate most pack meals. And the other side of that is, let's be honest, if you, if you really need the full two cups or whatever it is, you can boil this, pour it in, zip it up, shake it up, set it off to the side to start doing its thing, rehydrating and, and making all of the food soft and tender and ready to eat. And you could start another pot boiling. It's a small pot. It's not a huge volume. So it shouldn't take a terrible amount of time to get it boiling again. And then you have the remaining water to add in if you need it. You know, you can stir it and taste it to see. And if you need it, you can add the water in. And then you also have enough water to make a hot beverage as well. So that to me, this, this works just fine. Uh, and again, it's a nice compact size. So the next piece is going to be the actual skillet, and I love having a skillet with me. Um, I make my own pack meals now more than I buy the, the pre-made packaged ones. Uh, I am a Thrive Life consultant. I'll put a link in the, uh, in the description below. But I am a Thrive Life uh, consultant and distributor, and so I make my own. I buy the base ingredients, and I build my own pack meals and on my channel here you can go to the uh, the playlist and see the meal of the month and on the blog you can actually go back through and every time I've done a meal of the month there should be a, a corresponding blog post for that and each month uh, throughout this year 2019 I am releasing a video and a blog post with a recipe that I build using Thrive Life Foods and then I cook using camping gear on a camping stove and so um, for me I can size my and portion my meals not necessarily in quantity of food but in foods that require how much water so that I can make this work for me 
and if I need more than that as far as water goes, uh, with Thrive Life, I can actually cold soak my food to rehydrate and then put it in the skillet, which has a bigger volume, to warm it up, to heat it up, to eat it. So um, that works for me really well. And again, if you followed my channels at all for any length of time, all of 2018, I redid my cook kit and uh, replaced most of my stainless steel with titanium. In fact, all of my stainless steel I have a titanium equivalent for, and uh, that's what I primarily carry. But this kit is, again, great for a beginner or somebody just getting started or somebody who doesn't want to go with the cost of titanium. Titanium is expensive, and it's not in everybody's budget. But this kit, I promise you, is in anybody's budget. Let me talk to you about the last piece of the kit, and then I will talk to you about the price of the kit. And then I'll talk to you about some modifications and some other things that I think are really cool about it. The last piece is the skillet lid, which is also the, uh, the plate. And so it's about a, a three quarters of an inch in depth, which is fine. It's not huge, but it's more than enough to put a decent serving of food on. And if you're using the pot, you can keep the remainder of your food with the lid on it, keep it warm, and then refill your plate. But really nice to have a stable surface so that your food's not falling off and I don't care to eat out of the the bags a lot uh, you can and I have a long handled titanium spork and spoon that I can use to eat out of the bags but I prefer to actually put it on a plate uh, so that I can eat it easier and not get it all over my hands and, and clothes and stuff so the cost of the kit the five-piece kit I picked up at Walmart. Again, it is uh, Ozark Trail five-piece stainless steel mess kit. And at Walmart, I paid $6. $6 for the entire kit. And that, to me, is an unbelievable value. Um, I know some of Ozark Trail stuff is not real high quality, but I'm going to tell you, for 6 bucks. I can't understand how they could afford to make it for six bucks. Uh, it's plenty quality for that. I have cooked in it several times. Uh, I don't know if you saw in the skillet. I'll go ahead and open it again because I'm going to show you some other stuff anyway. But I have cooked in the skillet several things. Uh, you can see in here the, the cook marks, right, from cooking on it and the discoloration on the bottom of the pan from being over the fire and over the stove. Uh, I have cooked pancakes, turkey bacon, um, hash browns or a hash with uh, green chili and, and ground beef and bell peppers and mushrooms. And Anyway, I've cooked that and, and eggs in this and I've had no issues with it. Um, it's an uncoated pan, so there's no coating that you're gonna scrape off and, and Make yourself sick. Uh, it's not aluminum. It's stainless steel. Now, it's not super thick, but again, six bucks. It's fantastic. Just pay attention to your heat uh, and, and your flames, and you should be fine. And use oil or butter, some kind of a fat, to keep it from sticking and scorching, and just pay attention to what you're doing. So let's talk for just a moment. Uh, about what this is good with. Yes, you can use it over open fire, but I think this is an ideal size if you carry a small single person stove. Well, what I'm talking about is something like the uh, Firebox Nano or Titanium Nano, uh, the Silver Fire Scout, the Solo Stove Light, or even the Titan. I wouldn't worry about much bigger than that, but because it's so small, this works really well with those uh, Evernew or Trangia alcohol burners. Uh, with the Trangia, you need to have the, the little cross members or the surround pot stand so that uh, this doesn't sit directly on top or you'll put it out. But the Evernew actually has two rows of, uh, of flame holes. So if you put something right on top, then it'll actually, the flame will move to the lower holes and you can still cook. Um, but even then, I would say it'd probably be better to have the uh, the cross members or the little uh, stand for those but again any of your small stoves will pack into here well okay 
So the solo stove and the silver fire are not going to pack into it, but like a Trangia or an Evernew, uh, a solo, not a solo stove, a uh, firebox nano will actually fit in here. I have mine in the X case, but if I take it out of the X case, I can put the small piece of carbon felt and the nano fully into this and put the, the pot lid on and put the skillet lid on and close it and snap lock it into place and it fits. So I can carry, I can transport and store the stove fully inside the set. That is great. Uh, the Nano is my favorite stove uh, and so I like to use this with it because it's a smaller skillet. It balances better on top of the smaller stove. So a couple of modifications. Like I said, I don't like the blue plastic cup that came with it and so I have gone to these collapsible silicone cups that also work as a bowl for me. Uh, they've got uh, measurement graduation marks inside and you can use hot or cold in them and they pack flat which is really nice and I carry two. One is a bowl and one is a hot cup. Uh, for cold water I usually drink that right from my hydration bladder or from a water bottle rather than from a cup. So the cup would be for uh, hot drinks for me. Then this other piece is a also a collapsible silicone uh, pour over. So you, you put uh, your cone coffee filter and your coffee grounds in it. This sets on the lip of your cup like so. And then you pour over your heated water and it runs through the coffee grounds and the coffee grounds are stopped by the filter and then these two holes it drips through into your cup and so you can make coffee uh, pretty simply and not have to have a bunch of grounds in your cup and I really like that so this has become my my go-to set for this kit because it all packs neatly in where that little blue cup went and I can store everything just fine. I can even put a couple of filters in there as well. And then all of that nests inside the skillet, just like so. The lid and the snap lock to hold it closed. And that very compact and that's almost a complete kit. So the only thing you're really missing is utensils. And depending on if you like to have separate cooking utensils or not, um, we'll decide what you decide to do with that. But let's talk about price again. Six dollars for the kit, for the uh, the mess kit. Then the uh, the silicone cup bowl. Those sell for about four dollars a piece at Walmart or on Amazon. So you have six dollars for the mess kit, four dollars for each of the cup bowl and then another six dollars or so for the pour over coffee maker uh, on Amazon or at Walmart from time to time I've seen them there but I saw I looked on Amazon tonight and there was absolutely one of them there for six bucks uh, ranging up to twenty something dollars as well but the six dollar one is just fine and uh, so your twenty dollars for everything where it is right here twenty dollars for all of that I picked these up. These are also Ozark Trail. They're heavy plastic, uh, composite, fork, knife, and spoon, 88 cents at Walmart. So you can use these to stir and, and cook with. I wouldn't leave them in overheat uh, at all, but, but you can use them if you pay attention. But if you're concerned about that, you can either get stainless steel utensils. Walmart sells them for a couple of bucks usually. Uh, or Amazon has them for a couple of bucks, fork, knife, and spoon, stainless steel. Would work just fine, and you wouldn't need separate cooking utensils. Or I have, and I had actually before I had this mess kit, and uh, I really like these because they're small and compact, but this is GSI Outdoors uh, micro cook kit, and it's a, a serving spoon, a small spatula, and tongs. These two, the spoon and spatula, usually come together for eight or nine dollars, and the tongs are usually somewhere between five and seven. 
So for like 15 bucks or less, you can get these. And then I picked up uh, also by GSI Outdoors. This is the set, uh, the one that goes with it. This is a hard plastic edge, and then this is a soft rubber. And it's a scraper to clean your bowl, your plate, your cups, uh, your skillet, and uh, your pot. And these four work really well, and it's about $20. So about the same price as this, this. Uh, you don't need these. I keep them just because I picked them up uh, one at a time over time. But uh, this would work fine, and if you, if you want to go something a little bit more... You could pick up uh, a Light My Fire Titanium Spork would work well. It's big enough to deal with any cooking you, uh, you would do in the in the mess kit or a stainless steel set of, of utensils. And you could have this whole setup with the utensils for under $25, which is absolutely fantastic for a fully functional cook kit, including coffee maker. Uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as... Um, major modifications and functionality uh, I really like the kit and again I think for for somebody just starting out or somebody who's even a seasoned veteran who just wants something small and compact for quick overnighters or day hikes or whatever trips to the lake or the, or the river the stream um, this works really well and especially if you use a small stove uh, alcohol stove small gas stove uh, or wood pellet or wood fuel uh, twig stove any of those the small ones this is a perfect size for because it's a small compact setup and you're not trying to balance some huge pot and realistically most people don't need a a liter and a half or a two liter pot for their trips especially if they're cooking for only themselves so something like this in my opinion is is ideal for somebody getting started i liked it so much i actually went and bought uh bought a set not only for me right I've got mine but I bought for both my kids and for my wife and for my best friend to keep in their bags uh, it's just a great little kit it's well made and for six bucks six bucks uh, I I can't believe that the stainless steel itself didn't cost more than six bucks much less making it but uh, it's a good value so uh, I'd love to hear your comments and feedback uh, if you like the content, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe if you're interested in more of my content. And if you really like the content and want to be notified anytime I put out new videos, hit the little bell below and uh, you'll be notified. And then also I'll put a link in the description box. Go over and check out the uh, the blog, the Smoke and Face Pelt blog. Um, and I put out new content. I try to put out new content on the blog every week uh, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, I've missed a few of them, but I'm pretty good about getting something out there, uh, some decent stuff out there once a week. And if I put a video out, I almost always put a blog post with that video in it. So if you're interested in that, uh, there's often stuff on the blog that doesn't make it to the YouTube channel. I don't do a video on, but if I do a video, it's usually got a matching blog to go with it. And so if you want to go to that and, and uh, subscribe and follow there, you'll get that notification and, and see the video stuff as well. But hey, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I uh, hope you find the information useful. I'd love to hear your feedback and let me know what you think. If you have this, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what your thoughts are on that too. I really like it. I'm impressed. And I don't say that very often with inexpensive, uh, inexpensive Walmart gear, but this stuff, I really, this set, I really like. And I think it was a great value for the six bucks. You guys have a great day. Take care.